Well, we've got a developing story now. A Department of Corrections employee has not been arrested, but he has been identified as one of the shooters in a deadly biker brawl yesterday. One person died. Others are still in the hospital after a fight between two motorcycle clubs. CBS 4's Jeff Todd has been covering this story since it started yesterday. And, Jeff, police still aren't saying much. Kathy, Denver police say they are investigating, but the two motorcycle clubs in question have very different stories of what happened inside this complex. It caused this motorcycle swap meet to get canceled today, and the 38-year tradition, well, its future is now in jeopardy. Well, right now, the Mongols are concentrating on one thing, and that's mourning their brother. The attorney for the Mongols says the incident Saturday afternoon was started by the Iron Order, a club with some law enforcement members. The Iron Order says three of their members were hospitalized. One Mongol member died and four more were also taken to the hospital. None of the Mongols even had a firearm on them. CBS4's Brian Moss first reported one shooter works for the Colorado Department of Corrections. Denver police say they are investigating how many people fired guns, implying there was more than one shooter. You are not going to find one Mongol gun on this entire crime scene. No Mongol bullet was fired. Not one. We, we hope that the Denver Police Department is going to give them a fair shake on this. The Iron Order's attorney said in a statement, my preliminary investigation tells me in no form or manner did any Iron Order member instigate or cause any of the events that led to the tragedy yesterday and merely reacted to what other non-member individuals may have started and unlawfully provoked. Still, no arrests have been made. Tonight, the Department of Corrections said they are not releasing the identity or the specific job duties of the employee involved. They say they don't want that to interrupt the investigation being put on by both the Denver Police Department and the District Attorney's Office. Live in Denver tonight, Jeff Todd, CBS 4 News. Thank you, Jeff.